assalamu alaikum students i hope you all are fine today we are going to study the 8th chapter of our english 9th book which is stopping by the wood on a snowy evening this is a poem written by robert frost first of all i want to tell you about the robert frost robert frost was an american poet he won a uh, four times pulitzer prize and pulitzer prize is considered as the best prize for the authors or writers or uh, the people who write um, it's considered as the best like a nobel prize for the writers okay he was an american poet um, american poet uh, in the year tw uh, 2000 uh, uh, sorry in the 20th century uh, he wrote a number of poems about nature and his uh, poems most uh, mostly was related to the uh, contemporary issues that were present at that time okay this was the introduction of robert frost um, uh, let's move towards uh, uh, chapters First of all let's read the learning outcomes by the end of the lesson students will be able to construct the meaning of the poem through understanding through understanding the key theme identify the speaker in the poem identify alliteration in the poem interpret the imagery in the poem paraphrase and summarize the poem respond to the poem by giving a personal point of view use adjective phrases and adject and adverb phrases so at the end of the lesson we would be able to uh, speak about all these thing we would be able to know everything uh, that has been written over here okay let's read the uh, pre readings does the title reflect the theme of the poem okay does the title reflect the theme of the poem uh, the title is the stopping by the wood on a snowy evening okay uh, after reading the poem we would be able to know that uh, does the title reflect the theme of the poem what makes nature poems appealing to us okay this is quite um, uh, related to ourselves that uh, how the nature, nature is appealing to us nature always has a soothing effect on human being their feelings their thoughts are basically related to the nature and we always feel too much relaxed and easy and uh, happy when uh, when we interact with the nature and so uh this is a reason that nature always appeal to us and the poem that are been written over the nature are always being so much uh, interesting and always appealing to us just because that they are basically related to us we human being personally are made a uh, natural creature we are made by allah subhanahu wa taala and allah subhanahu wa taala made it uh, natural things too much beautiful so as we are a part of nature as we are made up of uh, up of nature so we always appeal towards uh, we always uh, attract towards the uh, nature nature uh, nature always captivate us okay so uh, without wasting any time let's start uh, uh, translating this uh, poem and the paraphrasing it okay i will translate it into urdu as well whose woods are these i think i know his house is in village though he will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow इस पोम में राइटर क्या बात कर रहा है वो किसी जगह पे एक जंगल में रुक चुका है ठीक है यहाँ पे वुड्स क्या है वुड्स जंगल की बात हो रही है अब वो कह रहा है कि हु वर्ड दीज आई थिंक आई नो ये किसका जंगल है शायद मैं ये जानता हूँ हिज हाउस इज इन वेलेज दो बेशक उसका घर जो है वो गाँव के अंदर है यू विल नॉट सी मी स्टॉपिंग हेयर वो मुझे यहाँ रुका हुआ नहीं देखेगा टू वॉच हिज वर्ड्स फिल अप विथ स्नो कि मैं देख रहा हूँ कि उसका जंगल जो है वो स्नो से भरा हुआ है बर्फ से भरा हुआ है अच्छा जी अब इसके अंदर जो है आ, इस चीज़ को हम लोग किस तरह से अंडरस्टैंड कर पाएंगे इसको अब इस तरह से अंडरस्टैंड कर पाएंगे कि ही स्टैंडिंग इन अ जंगल ओके सॉरी ही स्टैंडिंग इन अ जंगल इट सीम्स लाइक इट्स अ विंटर मॉर्निंग विंटर इवनिंग सॉरी इट्स अ विंटर इवनिंग बिकॉज हियर वी ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्नो दैट Uh, that has been present over all around him it's okay so uh, what he is uh, what is what the what the paragraph is reflecting uh, the paragraph reflects that he has he has written over uh, uh, in a jungle which is unknown to everybody but he is somehow knows that who is the owner of this um, uh, uh, jungle or the place where he is standing and the place there where he is standing is covered with snow it's covered totally covered with snow which reflects it's a winter morning with a uh, winter night sorry 
and uh, he is saying that he is writer writer uh, sorry his owner owner of the village is not present over there <clears throat> the owner of the village is not present over there and he is showing us that he is alone totally alone over there okay so the two things we have uh, deduced from this paragraph one is that the uh, the place is the time is winter evening and the second is the owner of the village is not present um, where he is standing where the place he is standing is totally unknown to everybody else and the owner of the place is also not present but the writer knows about him okay let's move forward my little horse must think it's queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year ab ye kya keh rahe hain yahan pe my little horse must think it queer ab kya keh raha hai ki mera ghoda jo hai wo is cheez ko bahut ajeeb mehsoos karega to stop without a farmhouse near ki hum yahan ruk gaye hain bagair kisi farm house ke kareeb hone hone ke bawajood between the woods and the frozen lake ab ye jungle ke darmiyan mein lakdiyon ke darmiyan mein lakdiyan jungle तो लकड़ियों को कहते हैं लेकिन यहाँ पे जंगल को मुखातिब किया गया है कि जंगल में फ्रोजन लेक जमे हुए लेक्स के दरमियान में या जमे हुए नदियों के दरमियान में द डार्केस्ट इवनिंग ऑफ द ईयर ये सबसे डार्केस्ट इवनिंग है पूरे साल की अच्छा जी वॉट हैव वी वट वी हैव रिड्यूस फ्राम दिस पैराग्राफ we have the deuce that uh, first of all he is talking about his horse that his horse must be considered a queer a strange thing that he is standing over here where no one is present okay there where there is no farm house near and this is the winter night is this is another depiction about that that uh, between the uh, between the woods and a frozen lake and frozen lake when we have frozen lake in the winter nights the winter nights we have the frozen lakes and it is the darkest evening of the year he's considering it the darkest evening of the year uh, perhaps it's uh, uh, it's a thick dark forest that's why it's a darkest evening or it's the is a time when uh, we don't have moon over the sky like uh, at the ending of the month we don't have the moon over the sky maybe it's that time that's why he's talking about like that that it's the darkest evening of the year and uh, so we have to use the two thing over here that first first thing is that that this is the winter evening that we have find also in the first paragraph and right now again it's again describing that that it's a winter night and uh winter night and it's a darkest night it's a end of the month it's maybe the end of the month a uh, month okay uh, so that we are not having the, the any uh, brightness of even moon okay even we are not having the moonlight Okay I hope you have got this and let's move forward he gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and tawny flakes okay he gives his harness bell a shake wo kisko abhi apne ghode ki baat kar raha hai ki usne apne gale mein jo bandi hui ghanti hai unko ek jhatka diya hai to ask if there is some mistake ye puchne ke liye ki kya koi galti ho gayi hai the only sounds the sweep ki sirf ek hawa ek awaaz wahan pe maujood hai sirf ek awaaz jo wahan pe maujood hai wo kya hai of easy wind and downy flakes wo kiski hai easy wind aur jo halki halki hawa chal rahi hai wahan pe uski awaaz hai aur downy flakes downy flakes yahan pe downy ka matlab hota hai girne wale aur फ्लेक्स गले अच्छा ये फ्लेक्स जो है वैसे तो कॉटन के लिए यूज़ होता है लेकिन यहाँ पे इन्होंने एक हमारे लिए क्या यूज़ किया है यहाँ पे इन्होंने एक मेटाफर यूज़ किया है कि डाउनी फ्लेक्स मतलब गिरने वाले गाले बर्फ़ के गाले ठीक है वैसे तो ये फ्लेक्स जो है वो कॉटन को कहा जाता है लेकिन यहाँ पर इन्होंने इसको बर्फ़ को कह दिया स्नो को कह दिया है ठीक है तो यहाँ पर क्योंकि क्यों कहा है इन्होंने कॉटन की तरह बर्फ़ को स्नो को क्योंकि स्नो जो है वो इतनी सॉफ्ट है रुई की तरह सॉफ्ट है इस वजह से उन्होंने यहाँ पे डाउनी फ्लेक्स का वर्ड यूज कर लिया है ठीक है जी हियर ही फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द हॉर्स अबाउट हिज हॉर्स दैट हिज हॉर्स इज गिविंग शेक टू हिज हार्नस पिल्स टू आस द क्वेश्चन दैट वेदर वी हैव स्टॉप हियर just because of some mistake or really you want you to stop here okay he is just thinking about himself he's just imagining that his horse is um, as his horse is uh, giving shake to his bell so he is must be uh, he must be asked to uh, must be asking about the uh, place that why we are standing here this is totally unknown place okay and uh, another thing he is talking about is that that this is the this 
there is too much silent everywhere everywhere and the only thing that he is this thing is the sound of the wind and the downy flakes and the sound of the snow that is uh, falling over there okay so another thing that we have found over here is that this time is totally um, this is a time when there was no one present no one is present over there and just because of that no one is present over there that's because of that he, he is listening the sound of the wind and the downy flakes okay move forward uh, that is the last paragraph the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep this is the theme of the paragraph basically which i consider um this is the most important paragraph if you understand this thing you would understand the whole poem that what he has written and what he wanted to show to you the woods are lovely and dark and deep जंगल कैसा है खूबसूरत है लवली है डार्क एंड डीप अब डार्क से मुराद अंधेरा बहुत ज़्यादा है ठीक है एंड डीप अब डीप हमें क्या चीज़ शो करवा रहा है डीप हमें ये शो करवा रहा है कि जंगल जो है वो बहुत घना जंगल है ठीक है अब घना जंगल होगा तभी उसकी वजह से क्या है डार्कनेस है ठीक है आपको पता है काफ़ी सारे दर्द जब इकट्ठे हो जाते हैं तो उसकी वजह से नीचे जो है समटाइम्स जो जंगल का मेन का हिस्सा होता है ज़मीन का हिस्सा होता है वहाँ पर रोशनी कम हो जाती है और वो जंगल की डीपनेस की वजह से हो जाती है ठीक है बट आई हैव प्रोमिस टू कीप लेकिन मुझे बहुत से वादे हैं जो पूरे करने हैं एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई सीप और बहुत दूर मिलो चलना है सोने से पहले और बहुत दूर मिलो चलना है सोने से पहले अच्छा जी we have got this concept over here we have got the translation of this chapter uh, we have paraphrased this pa uh, paragraph and everything of this poem but look at this poem uh, could you imagine about something could you relate this paragraph to your real life if you relate this thing to our real life you could find it out that the lovely things of the world the beautiful things of the world that attracts us that captivate us that the um, catch our attention are for the for the small time all the things are for the small time for a small interval of time small small period of time okay everything that is present around us is a is for a small interval of time and we have to do something we have to move forward we shouldn't stay for the long time and we shouldn't, we shouldn't stay for the whole life for the uh, things that are around us we shouldn't stay for all these things we should move forward we should move forward in our life we have a number of responsibilities we have number of uh, uh, obligations to pursue so what we need to do we need to look over all those promises we need to uh, respond to those responsibilities we need to respond to those obligation that we have to do in our life so we shouldn't stop over the thing that are for the small time that are for the that are the materialistic thing we shouldn't stop for that we have a number of thing around us we have a number of promises around us that we have to keep and what are what kind of promises are there like it can we can say that these are the promises that we have uh, uh, we have done from with our family though those promises are not called by our uh, our uh, the uh, in uh, with the tongue we haven't take those promises from the tongue but those are like responsibilities that are related to our family and ourselves so what we need to do we need to keep those promises we didn't stop uh, we, do, we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't stop for the thing that are materialistic that are present around us that are just a, a kind of beauty and beauty lovers okay we shouldn't stop like the beauty lovers we should move forward in the life because life is far more important while life responsibilities and other things are far more important and then the things that are uh, uh, beautiful around us okay so this is the theme of the poem okay um, this is the basically theme of the poem and we have understood the whole poem we have uh, uh, done the paraphrasing of this poem and translated it into urdu as well okay i hope you have gotten the all the concept uh, look at the boxes what hidden meaning do the following words convey to us words it's a dark dark jungle house that no no one uh, present over there horse horse is the uh, the person the the one who was around, was around him okay the harness bell he uh, shake this harness bell which shows that he is um, he is considering is imagining that the his his horse is considering a quite quiet and the downy flakes downy flakes the silence okay
Know the alliteration imagery in the poem. Okay, we would read about the imagery and alliteration in the poem. Uh, about the poem in the exercise. Okay, let's look at the theme of the poem. The poem points out the attractive and exciting beauty of the nature and simultaneously hints to hints at the need to carry on with the daily affairs of life. This is the thing that I have told you. Okay, the word of fantasy is very inviting. Yes, of course, the word of fantasy and imagination is so inviting, it's so appealing, but one must maintain balance between the word of reality and imagination we should make the balance between the reality of the uh, life and the imaginations okay and our imagination we should make the balance between all, both of them okay i hope you have gotten all the concept about it and um, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, this uh, for uh, watching us our video if you like us so please um, if you like the video please share it to the people so that others should also understand about this okay and subscribe to our channel thank you and allah hafiz